you to read to me. Alice watched in slow motion as Mr. Murphy's tongue undulated when he spoke. Read it to me the way you read it to yourself. Pink tied against the bone shore of his teeth. Alice took the tattered Henry Miller paper back off the bedside table and spread it open on the comforter of her bed. Page 13, he said, behind her. One hand slid up the front of her cotton dress. The other pointed to a sentence on the page. Begin here. against her then, and Alice felt a push of muscular wetness between her legs. Mr. Murphy placed his slender hand over hers and guided her to the mound at her center, pressing her fingers into the dark fold. Just there. behind the damp fabric of her feel panties, her feel herself. he found his way around the elastic at her leg and slid two deft fingers into the warm darkness of her virgin cunt. She felt him shift. He peeled the wet his cotton down her legs up. and pressed into the her from behind. The face forced her found legs and the violence sleep. and conquering boiled within him as he held the mouth of her pubis Searching like for the answer to a question he doubted. But there it was. The, the cicatrix that will never heal. The serpent's apple. Her cull was slick against Just his fingers. Just as he imagined it was when she was alone. Maybe in her bedroom. Her own fingers knuckled. Trying to rub out that itch. The ache inside. inside. He saw himself burying his cock in the early fucking way. He fixed his own swelling clip and choked her better judgments. He would fill her up with cum. Oh.